Good afternoon, families. It is Friday, October 16th, 2020, and I'm just coming to you live with uh, a vlog roundup. First things first, a little bit of business. I wanted to just check in and make sure that you know that next week is a short week. All right, it's a short student week. We have classes on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because it is fall conferences on Thursday and Friday. Um, so uh, just a little bit about that. Um, these are virtual conferences, of course. Uh, thank you for everyone who's uh, you know followed my email uh, from earlier this week and has clicked on the link and signed up on Sign Up Genius for a time, either Thursday or Friday, and also for uh, then going through and answering the short uh, question and answer page uh, with your student prior to meetup. So if there's any questions or things that you'd like to talk about or discuss during our 20 minute time, we can. So thank you. Um, just a little bit about the week. Uh, this week, we really stepped up our understanding of reading strategies. We practiced sounding out words, using picture clues, replacing a word with mm, and then looking for chunks of words to help us read those things that are tricky. I'll let the class know today that help is always a strategy that you should use. Uh, but as we're working towards reading independence, they should really try these strategies first, especially because if they always ask someone else when they're trying a word, they're gonna assume that it must have just been too hard and they couldn't have done it without someone else's help and that they're not a good reader. So there's that. In math, we've begun connecting number stories and adding different amounts to our number bonds and number sentences and number expressions. Um, I've emphasized to all our mathematicians that using a picture to draw out that matches a story should always be your first step. Uh, by drawing a picture, even if it's just dots or tally marks, uh, students have something to go back and count on and like check to see that their work is correct um, or to confirm that if there's something wrong, they have something to go back to to figure out where their misstep was. Did they not draw enough? Did they just miscount? Things like that. Um, it's pretty important uh, that they not only know how to get a correct answer, but how to find an answer's mistake and come back and correct it when they make mistakes because we all do. Uh, in Writer's Workshop this week, we began our three-page books, Beginning, a Middle, and an End, and reviewed feedback, giving positive comments and constructive improvements to others in the class. Um, all the students have been really great at this, embracing just listening to each other and then asking super direct questions um, to offer positive ideas on things they could add or extra details or labels, which has been really cool. A Glow for the Week. Uh, we have been watching and doing a phenomenal job with reading groups taking off as I started using this week online books with each of our small groups. Um, that's been really cool. A grow for the whole class overall. Uh, just continue learning about and checking in at the end of the day with students and iPads to see what they've completed. Have them tell you about what they've worked on, what they learned, what we've practiced, what book we read, and then double check on their to-do list. Take a look and see is there anything that it got pushed back in draft where I've given a comment like double check some work. There might have been a mistake, uh, things like that, um, or just any outstanding activities that they may have missed because there's, you know, it's a lot to do. And I want to make sure that we're getting a handle on all of our things. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, I did send out a video, I believe, in Seesaw on Wednesday. So that should help you there. Otherwise, um, your fun fact of the day is a little bit about something we read today in Writer's Workshop, a book that almost everyone was familiar with, Curious George by H.A. Ray. Um, interesting fact, the character of Curious George is not an original first character. The first time George appeared was in a different book called C C Cecily G and the Nine Monkeys, and it was a story about a very lonely giraffe that befriended some monkeys. Uh, so George is actually a spin-off character. So I thought you would enjoy that. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. I hope you still are safe and healthy with your family. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out via email. Um, otherwise, I can't wait to see everyone uh, virtually, of course, in our conferences next week. So please make sure that you have signed up and have a wonderful weekend.